Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Kangzen Mini VF from GearBest, so stay tuned. So to introduce this, I'd like to try to do this in one sentence that sums this particular device up. And it is an ergonomic, well-built, really good temperature control with a flashlight 50 watt mod and I've been using it for about a week and I really really like it so let's take a close look now if anybody's interested in this they can go over to GearBest I provided the link below so um, or <laughs> is it that way which way is it because my uh, lens is flipped it is that way <laughs> the link is below so you can go ahead and click on it and order it easily for $50. I think a very good deal. So what I'm doing is I'm opening this up, putting the battery in. This is one of the cons, one of the things I'm not a fan of. I hate having to use a coin to open up the battery compartment, but it's a, a minor thing. Luckily, you're not doing it too often with a large 18 um, 650 battery. And again, when you're talking about... Um, sub-ohming and things like that, make sure you use a good battery that's capable of handling the high amperage, 35 amps right there. So anyway, positive side goes in first, negatives are sitting on the bottom, and we'll go ahead and screw this in. Now the first thing that you'll notice when you first pick up this device, besides the, you know, how solid it is, is the shape and the feel of it. And one of the things that came to mind to me right off the bat was if someone were to make a mini flask like this, it would be this. See that? <laughs> it's sort of like half a flask. It has that nice curve. Feels really good in the hand, whether you're left or right. Whoops, I pressed the button and started it up right there. Um, just a, a good solid device. It's a 50 watt device. It has temperature control feature and it has a, a flashlight. The way you access the flashlight is you hit these two buttons down here, the up and down button. And um, there you go. Nice. And if you do it again, you get a uh, flashing light. <laughs> so for those of you who like to be prepared, if you're a prepper or something like that, or you know, just like to have a flashlight with you and you're carrying one separate, you could carry one device to do both. I like dual purpose devices. So, um, 50 watts, it is uh, wattage controlled. You just go up and down. By the way, the, the way that this operates, especially with the temperature control and, and the way that it acts, is it's um, just like my Invader Mini right here. And I really like the way that this device uh, did temperature control. It didn't like go and, and hit the limit and say that it was, you know, over and then start backing off. It sort of controlled it before it got to that point. So it, it's really a solid acting device. I wouldn't be surprised if the same chip is in both these, but I'm just speculating. So... Um, this has patented wattage control, temperature protection, it does a preheat, step up, step down kind of thing, um, digital user controls, has OLED screen right there, um, nice solid buttons, I like the fire button, it's not the type of button where you gotta press really hard or anything, nice clicky, tactile kind of feel there, you can see that it's complaining that it has a uh, no atomizer or open atomizer there. So really good. You get your battery, you get your, your voltage and ohms and your, and your watts reading. Now this is capable of 0.09 ohm to 1 ohm as far as the uh, atomizer is concerned. And what other notes do I have? He has aluminum alloy body. It comes in all kinds of colors, by the way. Gray, silver, black, green, rose, and gold. Now, GearBest sent me this, and before I had a chance to ask them, I, I was going to get the green, but they sent me black, which is my uh, second choice color for um, mods. Let's see. So, it I already covered, I think, really everything. It does have reverse 
protection. It has a USB charging right there on the bottom and you can also see the tail cap here with the coin slot. It has four holes for venting if, you, if your battery has an issue. On the top you have your standard 510 thread there. Now it indicates that that um, is spring-loaded, the pin there. I tried to press down and it didn't move that much. If it is spring-loaded it's just a little bit and it's very very tight or strong. So um, um, I think we really covered it all so what I want to do now is to um, I'm gonna put my little Derringer on here my little Derringer because I already because it's all built with a temperature control with a, with a nickel coil in there and um, we'll go ahead and hit the button and you get it's asking if it's a new coil or the same coil I'm just gonna say new so you hit the up button. If it's a different uh, atomizer or coil, you hit the down button. So it's indicating that it's 0.15 ohms right there, set to 40 watts. I already have it set to 450 to 50 degrees. This functions just like any other uh, DNA kind of device where if you want to go ahead and change the temperature setting, you're going to go ahead and hit the fire button five times, which locks it. And see it says uh, locked, so if I tried to press it, it ain't going to do anything. It just says it's locked. And at that point, you could press both these buttons right here, hold down the change temperature. And now I could use the up-down button to change the temperature. Now if I want to turn temperature control off, I would continue up beyond 600 degrees, and then it would turn it off. And then you use it like a regular device, or... Um, let me see how low this goes. It goes down to 200 degrees. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring it back up to 450 where I like to vape as far as temperature control is concerned. I'm going to hit the fire button and then I'm going to hit the fire button five times. One, two, three, four, five. And now we are unlocked, ready to go. Now let me let you take a close look at the temperature control in action once we get focused. I'm going to press and hold this button and you'll see it um, do its thing there. You can see it reading the temperature right there and it's uh, not letting it get over 450 degrees. It's, you know, it's not hitting the limit. It's just going up and down, you know, and keeping it under. And it's not burning anything. You know, nothing's that's cotton wick. So uh, a normal device it would be catching on fire by now because that was pretty dry. So I really like this device. It is so freaking comfortable. Now in normal mode, um, or even in uh, temperature control mode, you could change your your watt setting there. You could go up and down um, all the way up to 50 watts I'm not sure how low you could go let's see it goes down to one watt one watt all the way up to 50 watts I'm gonna go ahead and and put this at about 14 and I'm gonna juice up what am I juicing today or vaping today I got this Evo stuff um, it's a very good all-day vape kinda of company and we'll go ahead and juice up there got my nickel Whoops, and I'm dripping, dripping, dripping. I think that was 15 wraps of nickel, 28 or something gauge. I don't remember. It was so long ago. This coil is lasting forever. When you when you do temperature control, um, I got to tell you something. Things last forever because things ain't burning up. So that's the big advantage. The disadvantage of temperature control is um, you don't get um, that quite as intense... Um, vape, you know, because you're not letting it get up that high. But it's also much safer because your your juice is not deteriorating or, um, you know, burning up and then possibly even getting toxic, producing other chemicals. It keeps everything safe. So if you're concerned about your safety, temperature control is way to go also. So let's go ahead and um, take a, a vape off this and see how it looks. One thing I might have said in, in error is I said it only goes up to 1 ohm as far as the atomizer. That's when it's in temperature control mode. Of course you can go higher in regular mode when you're using um, regular canthol or, or whatever. But nickel for temperature control. We all know that until things change. Anyway, 
let's uh, uh, I'll tell you this thing is so solid this is very very well built as a matter of fact I'm gonna throw a picture up right now and uh, you could look at the uh, parts inside there look how solid this is made it really is uh, seems to be a, a solid well built device okay back let's uh, let's take a bait Okay, that was weak. So, what do I have this set at? We're going to go ahead and pump it up just a little bit. Let's go 25 watts, 450 degrees. Try it again. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm making a mistake here because I don't have my, uh, my uh, thing adjusted here in front of the coil. <laughs> Oh, it, it only happens when it's live. That is very good for temperature control for the settings that I have here. And it is a very good vape. The juice, this uh, Evo, what is this, Golden Kiwi is tasting pretty good. It is uh, nicotine free right there and I'm vaping safely on a very very good quite possibly the best temperature control device I currently have in my collection at a fifty dollars it really is a steal and you get a flashlight to boot <laughs> it's a lot of vapor ah oh, I am very very happy. Now I got snot my nose running because that was so much vapor and I'm fogging up the room. Um, I like this device a lot and um, I would buy this device if, if GearBest wasn't nice enough to send me and I would definitely buy this device. It is uh, incredible. Incredible for the device. Who would think that you'd get this many features for that price? So GearBest, link below the X, the, the Kang, Kangzen, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong but you can see by the title and, and everything here, what it's supposed to be, um, mini VF50 watt, what I would consider a mini flask in my mind, and uh, I highly recommend it. Okay, well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.